Let's get you looking nice. Hey, mister. Saludos. Good morning to you. Ma'am. Hello. Morning, mister. Morning, friend. Someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Oh, bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Okay, boy. Always nice having a new subject. I'd like you to take my Oh, yes, the condo, the setting of all great portraits. Just hope I don't look too ugly that I scare folk. <laughs> I will make it work. Sure, that one, fine. You know, if you were really in a bordello, you would be wearing less. Everyone will think you went to ancient Greece for this photograph. <laughs> what fun! The plantation works, the trees make a decent... Easy there, friend. You will be back. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. 
brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw... Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, uh, hey. Help! Uh, help! Hold on! This man is bothering me! Now. Someone help me! Officer, help! You had your chance. A new child. Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins? Hey, officer. Good morning, mister. 
Welcome to Cao Chow. I don't think I've seen you here before. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. I can do some nice ornate engraving on there, if you like, good price. You won't find a better selection of firearms this side of the river. We stock some of the finest quality guns in the South. And will you be needing any ammunition? I can see you look after your firearm. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. That's great. Very good chop suey on the street. Say I sent you.
Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I could add some rifling into the barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. You got no regrets with that decision. You will feel the difference right away. A man got shot right there on Courtney Street. Around here, you carry a gun. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. This job gets easier the farther away you are from Sunday You got that right. So welcome to our humble police house. Well, I see you didn't get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. What can I do for you? Can I help you with something? Officer. Hello, mister. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what. I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees.
Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Monsieur, careful now. Hey. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <clears throat> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, chante. My hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Yes, yes. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling you. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Hey, that one's gone too. You see what stupid man does? You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. 
This is remarkable. Look at those poor boys. There, I'm gone for you. I say look out for mine. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Look out! Look out! The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No. The rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my European course. As in the Balkans, we are a man of the people. We work hard. Hello? 